Praise God. This is Reverend Dr. Katherine Weathers from Moments of Miracles Mom. And on today, we're going to continue from our sermon on last week, which was Wisdom Speaks. So our title is Wisdom Speak Part 2. And coming from the book of Haggai. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Let's pray. Father, we thank you on today that your servants and the people in the audience just understand this message, Lord. We thank you for this day. It's a beautiful day. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. So in our last sermon, we spoke of the book of Haggai, entitled Wisdom Speak. Now, I guess the message was not as clear as I would have liked it to be. So let me bring clarity to the story. Haggai, Zechariah, and Malachi are three prophets which belong to the period after the return of the Israelites from the Babylonian captivity or exile around 538 B.C. We can find the story in the book of Exodus, Nehemiah, and Esther. The Jews were in captivity for 70 years or more. And they had begun to build the temple. Yet, the work was stopped by their enemy or their neighboring enemies. And nothing further was done for 15 years. Praise be to God. Thank you, Jesus. So, our thing for the day is make rebuilding the temple your priority. Make rebuilding the temple your priority. Coming from Haggai 2 and 9. Haggai 2 and 9, which states, The glory of this latter house shall be greater than of the former said the Lord of hosts. And in this place will I give peace, said the Lord of hosts. Praise be to God. Thank you, Jesus, for your word. Hallelujah. Glory, glory, glory. Lord Almighty. And in the place I will grant peace, declared the Lord Almighty. Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. As I ponder on Haggai, the Lord lets me know this message is for Moments of Miracles Mom. The message is for the church of today, praise be to God. God lets me know that nearly seven years ago, the church was attacked and the enemy tried to destroy the foundation that God had laid, praise God. And from that time until now, mom has been in exile, banished from friends and family members. Oh, God is a wonderful God, isn't he? And the building of the temple had slowed down. Our church is located in our home, and it has been since we opened it up seven years ago. Thank you, Jesus. Yet God gave us a building, praise God. And now it's time for the restoration of the building. And we're taking up, and we're taking up a building's fund. And as you can see, our mama thon, church building fund to restore the building that God has given us, praise be to God. And we're asking anyone who wants to donate, we will have our P.O. Box so you can send a donation to our P.O. Box. Because normally, mom does not ask for any money to support the church. Thank you, Jesus. Praise be to God. Hallelujah. So, we thank you for that. Yet, how many people 
understand that once God has placed a prophet on assignment, the work will continue until the assignment has been completed. Amen? So tell your neighbor, make rebuilding the temple your priority. Tell your other neighbor, make rebuilding the temple your priority. Praise be to God. In the first message, I was trying to point out how the people of God was laid back and thinking about themselves. That the temple was laid in ruins. Amen. However, God brought Haggai to get the people focused on rebuilding. Focused on rebuilding the temple by sending donations to renovate the building. Amen. God does not want the church to take out a loan because the congregation will not honor their covenant agreement of seed time and harvest by paying their tithes and offerings. God only asks you to give 10% and keep the 90. So God is doing a new thing. He's giving his church's new revelation on how to raise money, praise God. Because you know, there's a lot of churches clothing. A lot of church doors are clothing because they have borrowed money and they financially cannot pay their bills. And God doesn't want that to happen to Moments of Miracle. You know how it is. I just brought a new car and now I must pay my car note and full coverage for insurance, which is expensive. That's what many of the congregations are saying. And I understand that. I myself choose not to buy a new car. I choose to buy a car that I can buy outright and pay just liability to keep my finances at a certain level so I could stay in my own lane, so to say, amen, and still be comfortable. Make rebuilding the temple your priority. Now, we know God is more concerned about the physical temple of our bodies, praise God, which is not built of stone, but of the soul. The redeemed in 1 Corinthians 3, 16 through 17 states, Know ye not that ye are the temple of God, and that the Spirit of God dwelleth in you? If any male, if any man defiles the temple of God, he shall God destroy. For the temple of God is holy, which is the temple ye are. How do we destroy the temple of God? This temple that is not made of stone. How do we destroy that temple? Through disobedience. He goes on in 2 Corinthians 6.16 by saying, Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. And what agreement has the temple of God with idols? For ye are the temple of the living God. As God had said, I will dwell in them and walk in them, and I will be their God, and they shall be my people. So God is living inside of us. He's walking with us. Every experience we have, the Lord is with us. Praise be to God. Saints, we have heard this sermon many times before. God has revealed how believers come into the house of God to fellowship as it is written in the psalm. Yet we are so caught up with problems, so caught up with ourselves that we are not monitoring the lambs. And there are wolves sitting in the churches waiting to derail the lamb. 
There are wolves coming in and out of the churches, stealing the people. Amen. I know because it happened to me. And there was no one on God to warn me. Thank God I had roots. Praise God. I knew how to pray for myself. Thank you, Jesus. I was able to escape by kindly letting the man know I was not interested in his advances. Praise God. But what about the lambs that are not rooted and grounded in the word? Let me give you an example from the word. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Glory to God. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. For God knows that Jesus came He picked out 12 disciples and out of 12 disciples, one of them was the devil. One of them was out to betray him. And even though Jesus knew beforehand, he had to walk with that demon and allow the demon to overthrow him. And that's the word I want to use, overthrow him. Because if Satan would not have succeeded in the plan to kill Jesus' flesh, none of us would have the opportunity towards eternal life or for eternal life. We needed the lamb to die. A sinful death on the cross, which represents a curse, in order for us to be brought back, redeemed, because of Adam's sin. Disobedience brings death. It didn't Adam's death. And it continues to bring it down. We are not supposed to be constantly crucifying Jesus. Every time God gives us the word. You see, saying, I'm trying to share with you what God showed all among men. So he would feel the same thing we felt. So there is no excuse. Once we go before the judgment seat, Praise be to God. Thank you, Jesus. Once we go before the judgment seat, we will be judged. Praise be to God. Hallelujah. Husbands, Jesus has said, if you give your wife a divorce, okay? You know, this, this is the revelation he gave me. If you give your wife a divorce, you cause your wife to commit adultery. This, people don't realize, is a curse placed on the men for not taking care of their wives as Jesus takes care of the church. Praise be to God. Jesus is sitting at the right hand of the Father, protecting his sheep. Amen. We thank you, Lord. I just remember what Jesus said to Judas, or said about Judas, and that is that he is going to wish he was not born. And I, I realize those words. And I realize some people will be at that place. And I pray to God I'm not one of them. 
I pray to God that he accepts my apology and that he accepts others' apology and that he helps us not repeat the same action over and over and over again. Praise be to God. God is gracious. He continues to give us chances, you know, so we can get it right because he understands what I understand. I'm slow, you know? So, saints, I just want to thank you for allowing me into your home on today. Be safe. God bless. This is Reverend Weather signing out. No tears to cry.